try to understand how resonance takes place in a molecule if it takes place you should understand resonance is not possible in all the molecules but if possible it will increase stability of that molecule and with the help of some examples we'll try to see how delocalization of electrons or resonance may take place in certain cases uh, look at this first example in this case this carbon having a lone pair this lone pair will move towards a pi bond now as this carbon must maintain tetravalency this pi bond breaks and this resonance structure is obtained so for this molecule two resonance structures are possible if you look carefully they look identical if they look identical they must have equal stability so stability of these two is equal okay let's try another example let's see another example here we have a positive charge on carbon if you look carefully this carbon is forming three bonds and is electron deficient carbon in this case these pi electrons of the pi bond will move towards the plus charge forming a pi bond here as a result this carbon now has a complete octet is not electron deficient the plus charge disappears this carbon is losing two electrons so plus charge appears here so we get two resonance structures in this case because they look identical they must have equal stability okay let's see another example let's see this example Here we have a lone pair on carbon. This lone pair will tend to move towards a pi bond. Now, to maintain tetravalency, here this pi bond breaks. Resulting in negative charge on the oxygen atom. So, this is how delocalization is possible in this molecule. From this carbon, electrons are able to move till oxygen. This is the extent of delocalization. These two structures are not identical. In structure one, you have negative charge appearing on carbon, and here you have appearing on oxygen atom. Because oxygen atom is more electronegative than carbon, so we expect second structure where you have negative charge on more electronegative oxygen to be more stable. So here, structure two is more stable than structure one. as negative charges present on more electronegative oxygen at let's see another example okay let's see this example here the molecule is indicated with bond line notation and the lone pair on this carbon atom will tend to move towards a pi bond trying to form a pi bond here as a result this pi bond breaks and what we get is this structure with negative charge over here so you can see the extent of delocalization carbon this carbon having a lone pair this lone pair gets delocalized and finally appears here so there's extent of delocalization and you can also notice these carbons are not involved in resonance or delocalization okay so all the carbons are not taking part in resonance right let's see another example this is phenoxidine this oxygen atom is having a negative charge and is attached to benzene ring this is known as phenoxidine the lone pair on oxygen atom moves towards this pi bond as a result you get a new pi bond between carbon and oxygen so this carbon to maintain tetravalency see this pi bond will break to maintain tetravalency of this carbon result is you get a double bond here and a lone pair appears on this carbon thus a negative charge appears okay so this is how resonance is taking place now we have to see if the lone pair can move further in the ring this lone pair can move towards this pi bond as a result this pi bond breaks okay 
once again this lone pair is going to move towards this pi bond and this pi bond breaks. Okay. Once again the lone pair moves like this and this pi bond breaks. So this is how resonance takes place in phenoxide ion. This oxygen atom attached to the benzene ring has negative charge and lone pairs. The lone pair moves like this. As a result, the negative charge appears at ortho position, para position and ortho position due to resonance. Okay, let's see another example. See this example, this species is known as benzyl carbocation. Here you have a carbon with plus charge attached to the benzene ring. Okay, in this case, this pi bond or electrons of this pi bond move towards this carbon. This carbon is electron deficient, resulting in a structure like this. This carbon is getting two electrons, so it is no longer electron deficient, so no charge appears here. This carbon loses electrons, so plus charge now appears here. Okay. And it moves further. Now these pi electrons will move towards the plus charge. So this is how resonance takes place in benzyl carbocation. The carbon with the plus charge attached to the benzene ring. Okay, electrons move towards this charge. As a result, plus charge appears at ortho position, para position, and ortho position. Okay, it appears at both the ortho position and para position due to resonance. Okay, so we'll see more examples.